A man travels a distance of 1.5 meter towards east, then 2 meter towards south and finally 4.5 meter towards east. What is the total distance traveled? And second question, what is the resultant displacement? So given that, a man travels 1.5 meter east. then 2 meter south and finally 4.5 meter east and first question is to find the total distance. So total distance travelled is equal to what is the definition of the distance travelled by a body? It is the actual length of the path covered by a moving body, right? So total distance means actual length covered by the body. That means total length, right? That is here total length is 1.5 meter plus 2 meter plus 4.5 meter equal to 1.5 plus 4.5 8 meter that is here east south etc means what direction direction of the moving body distance does not depend on direction it, it only depends on magnitude does not depends on direction that is distance is a scalar quantity Distance is a scalar quantity that is it depends only on magnitude. Here. Now second part. What is the resultant displacement? Displacement is a vector quantity right. That is, it has both magnitude and direction. Uh, that is, while calculating displacement, magnitude as well as direction is important. Directions are north, south, west and east. Now, as per question, let us assume the man starts his journey at point A. Just mark the direction at point A. Man travels a distance of 1.5 meter towards east. East means towards right. And distance traveled is 1.5 meter. So 1.5 meter towards right. So here we can mark the scale as 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter. Because here all the distance is in meter. Now take 1.5 centimeter in your scale and draw 1.5 centimeter towards east means towards right. Now man reach at point B. Now again mark the direction. Then 2 meter towards south. South means downward direction. So draw 2 meter downwards and mark this point as C. Now he reached at point C. After that Finally, 4.5 meter towards east. If you understand the direction, then no need to draw this all the time, okay? So, 4.5 meter towards east, towards right side. 4.5 and mark this point as D. He reached at point D. Displacement depends only on initial and final position of the moving body. That is, it does not depend upon the path followed. Here man starts at point A, that is starting point is A, means initial position A and ends at D, means final position is D. And displacement depends only on A and D, it does not depends upon the path, it does not depends upon A, B, C, D, it depends only on A and D. And what is displacement? Displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final position. And what will be the shortest distance? It will be the straight line joining the initial and final position. 
I'll join A and D and measure the length. It's 6.3. 6.3 centimeter, right? And here we assume 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter. 6.3 centimeter is equal to 6.3 meter. It is resultant displacement is equal to 6.3 meter and total distance, total distance traveled is equal to 8 meter.